What's going on, everybody? Joe from Total Justice Gaming again. Uh, we are back with another deck profile for you guys. This is my post Dragon Fighter and upgraded Japanese Blade deck. Uh, my buddy is the Cat, which his name's a mouthful. Uh, Beast Blade of Exorcism, Josemaru uh, Sugane Sugu. Uh, mostly I changed out from the main dude. Because in a deck full of dogs, I want to be a cat. Uh, he's also just really fun and good to have as a buddy. So we made a lot of changes. Uh, a lot of stuff came out. Pardon, uh, alarm clock went off for something. Um, so we are going to hop right into it. Again, we run four of the cat as the buddy. Put this out there. Uh, whenever I have another Japanese blade out on the field, I get to gauge one. It says he's a buddy. I also get to gain a life. So I gain a gauge, gain a life. Uh, an interesting choice, and I'm going to be running him in a, almost any deck I can. And that is Goma Go, uh, Goshi Goma. Only because he lowers the call cost by uh, by one for any Japanese for any Katana World uh, card that is a size 2 or greater. And since he's a size 0, he can just sit out on the field. He actually has okay stats for 0 at a 2-1-2. Two two. So he lowers the cost. Uh, he does help negate a lot of cold costs because some of the Japanese blades can be a little bit expensive in terms of cold cost. Uh, follow that up, we are running 4 of the German Shepherd. The German Shepherd is Beast Blade of Ghost Slash, Tojikiri uh, Yasusuna. Uh, he costs two to enter the field. He's a 5-1-3. When this card enters the field, put up to one Japanese Blade Monster item from your deck into your hand shuffle your deck. If you have a Japanese Blade in your drop zone, this card gets plus one quart and penetrate. So just for having anything in the drop zone that is Japanese Blade, which there's quite a bit in the deck now, um, he's all of 5 2 3, which is very respectable. 5 is a number we always want to try to hit because uh, that's just pretty much the mid range for all defenses. And he tutors pretty much anything in the deck you want. So we run 4 of him. Uh, next up, we are running 4 of the old buddy, but he's still worth it. Uh, we are running, he is base, Blade Beast of the Blender. Blinder, uh, Mikazuki uh, Munechika uh, is a 5-2-1. Uh, call cost is pay gauge, pay life. If two more different Japanese blades, he gets a crit, so it becomes a 5-3-1. Uh, and at the end of the battle that this attack, if you have five or more different Japanese blades, he gets double attack. He also comes with move and penetrate, so he can move in for defense. And penetrate's always good, especially when he has that three crit, so you can deal pretty heavy damage. Next up, we have the only other cat in the deck. Uh, we are running four... Gotta read him again, guys. Blade Beast of the Phantasm, Oni, uh, Onimaru Kinusuna. Uh, ku, uh, yeah, Kunisuna. Yeah. Sorry, guys, the Japanese, some of the Japanese names kind of throw me off. Um, so we pay Gage, uh, and then, uh, Soul Charge 2. He's really, really beefy at 633, uh, at, but at the end of the turn, uh, if he's rested, you uh, have to destroy him, but you trigger Soul Guard. So he gets to stick around for at least three turns, if not killed on the, on the offensive attack. And then finally, for standard monsters, we are running three of the Dog Girl, uh, Blade Beast of Guillotine, Odin, uh, Tamisoyo. She's a 216, call cost is 2. Again, minus all these call costs because of Goshi Goma, so she's really a call cost of 1. Uh, when the center's the field, if you have 5 or more different Japanese blades in your drop zone, destroy a card in the opponent's field. And then at the end of the battle, this card attack, you have two more different ones. This card gets double attack. She also has move. She's much beefier than. Uh, Michizuki, so I do like, don't mind her moving into the center, especially considering we actually have uh, some of the katanas that actually can't attack if there's a monster in the center now. 
Following this up, we have uh, Impact Monsters now. We ha are running three of the Impact Monster Blade version of Michizuki. So Mizu uh, Mikazuki uh, Munichika, Forbidden Art of the Blade, Deity Descends. You can only call this, you have four more different Japanese plates in the drop zone. Call cost is pay three and put a Japanese from your Japanese blade from your field into its soul. There are seven more different Japanese blades in the drop zone. He gets a crit, and this card's attack can now be nullified if he's attacking alone. He's an 825, meaning if you can get the effect off, he's an 835, but still 825 is really, really good in this case because he comes with just a slew of abilities. He has move, he has penetrate, he has double attack, and he has soul guard. So he is really, really beefy. Um, following that up, we are still running two of the old impacts to go with Blade Beast. Put the other one down here because I got to read it. Uh, pay three gauge, stand all Japanese blades on your field, and you can get another attack phase. Uh, only playable if you have five or more Japanese blades in your drop zone. So even if you can't fulfill the requirement for um, to get the bigger crit and can't attacking loan. This still has double attack, so this lets it attack a third time, and since it's got penetrate, you're going to be doing decent damage. Uh, weapons. This is a pretty heavy weapon deck. Uh, second most heavy weapon. So, we're running three Odenta. Odenta is pay a life, pay a gauge. Uh, it can't be destroyed by the opponent's effects, so you're always going to be able to have it. Uh, at a seven... Uh, 7-2, it's got really impressive stats. Uh, I really do try to this to be the preferred sword, but it's also not a dead draw, and this is probably one of the only times where multiple weapons in your hand are not a dead draw, because you can just charge and draw them, because you need all those different Japanese blades in the discard pile to trigger effects. But right now, Odenta is my preferred uh, sword to have. Uh, next up, we got the new sword that came out uh, not too long ago. We are running three of them. And that is Tempest Sword Makarashi. Uh, pay a life. It's a 3 1. The stats are okay. It's a 3 1, but it gets put in at a 3 of because it can, can attack even if you have a closed center, which that's important because you do want to try to field some as much as possible. Um, definitely try to have a size 2, a size 1, and then Goshigoma. Always preferable, so this will let you swing for a fourth attack. Uh, then we're running just two of the Heavenly Five Sword Onimaru. Onimaru is a 6 3. Uh, call cost is pay gauge. Uh, when you equip it, uh, put two uh, top two cards into its soul. Then turn if it's rested, put a card from the soul's. Uh, put it. Pretty much it's Soul Guard. It's like the cat it comes from. The end turn, if it's rested, you gotta pop a, one of its soul out, and then at the end of turn, when you have no soul, the weapon is destroyed itself. Uh, moving into spells, we're running four Demon Way. Gotta read it because it's a big, complicated name. Uh, Demon uh, Way Kasu Menoran. Uh, pay Gauge. Next time you'll be dealt damage this turn, it's reduced to zero and gain a life. Uh, it's a costed version of Black Dragon Shield, essentially. Move that in the frame a little bit better. So we run four of that. We run four Koton Blazing Armors. Uh, it gives a Katana World monster 5,000 offense and deals your opponent a point of damage. Uh, I want to try to keep my Japanese blades on the field as much as possible. This gives it quite the bu uh, bump in defense. Um, and it also burns for a point of damage, so I definitely put that in. We're running two Art of Body Replacement. This prevents all damage except for when it's Link attacking. Just flat out negates the attack. We are running two Demon Way Gepu Kugri. Uh, so if they do manage to destroy one of your Japanese blades, you can just pop this and blow a monster right back up. Running four sword skill, ridiculously long names starting with the Z. Uh, counter, uh, if your Japanese blade would be destroyed, instead it's not, and then give a counter attack. Uh, it's, it's definitely a must have because this just prevents a lot of things from leaving the field and getting a swing back in. Especially if you're running the size twos and the size threes, they can just sit there uh, in your center and then. 
don't get destroyed, and but get to swing back on the opponent. Uh, next up, we are running two uh, Riton Art of Store Electricity. I get to gauge two, and if I'm at five or less, I get to gauge an additional gauge. And then running it out, we're running one Clear Serenity, uh, gauge three, because you do need gauge in this deck. So that's my reworked uh, Japanese Blade deck, guys. I hope you like it. It is a ton of fun. Uh, Still not very competitive. I think it's on its way of getting there. I hope they get a little more in the future. Uh, I still have a whole lot of fun with it. It's just uh, pretty much a local deck. Only you're probably not going to see it too much too big into big local or big scale, upscale tournaments. But you'll do well with it in locals uh, so long as you go in knowing you're going to have fun, and you will score wins, most definitely. But ultimately, this is just one of my local fun decks where if I want to go into the tournament and just BS and hang with the guys, rather than put my nose to the stone and really uh, be competitive, this is one of my go-to decks. So again, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate everything you guys do for us. As always, please like and subscribe. We work hard to bring you guys Buddy Fight videos five days a week.